The main requests from the client for the house were really tailored around producing a piece of architecture that was befitting of the location itself and the stunning natural beauty that was on offer. My name's Joe Adset and I'm the architect for Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger is located in Toowoomba and to give it context, it's at the very top of the site and it looks back out all the way east uh, toward Brisbane. There is a landslide zone over the entire hill and at the top of the ridge it stops and so there's a point in which you can build on the site. That was genuinely constrained and we couldn't quite work a functional home in that one spot where you could build. We thought, well look, you know, I think the main thing here is to create more space and to cantilever away from this landslide part of the land and project out into the ether. And um, that would create that extra opportunity to get the functional accommodation to work. But also by cantilevering out, we really stopped the neighbours from looking back into the house and really frame that view all the way around from Picnic Point all the way around to Tabletop Mountain. So that was a key consideration in terms of how we approach the design of the site. As you arrive at the site and you come down the driveway, you see the large curved arc of the concrete cantilever away from the base of the home. And from there, you either keep driving down and you go underneath or you enter off a separate pathway and that leads you through and around to this enormous glass front pivot door. And that pivot door is you know, deliberately oversized. We work with Vidroxa on this project to create the glazing suite. There's this precision in terms of its engineering. It is the finest glazing system out there. Frames are slender uh, by virtue of their design. They are a highly engineered aluminium product reinforced with stainless steel. And it's designed in Switzerland but it's made in Australia to Swiss specifications. If you're looking to, you know, in this instance, frame this view that's on offer, this was the only way to achieve that, where the frames don't become the dominant language, it's all about just the glass being subservient to the view. Between the kitchen and the outdoor living spaces, we wanted that to be a seamless flow to really support the lifestyle that we can afford through the climate here in Queensland. And large expanses of glass stack away at this space to really enable that indoor lifestyle to extend to the outdoors and vice versa. From the main living areas, uh, the pool stretches along the entire length and really frames that view and reflects in the water, that outlook out to the valley below and the views on offer. The materials of the building are really restrained. We've got primarily concrete and glass. And as that is the superstructure for the home and the main idea of the house, we need to soften that with an interlayer of veneered timber product and also large porcelain tiles in a travertine aesthetic. The cabinetry is designed to really soften the architecture and a lot of the curves in the concrete, which are quite dominant are repeated in the joinery elements. So we get these subtle, soft curves and sharp edges are rounded deliberately. The interiors commission allowed us to emulate the shapes of the architecture in the furniture itself, but also introduce soft textures and colors to really humanize the um, minimal architecture. The lighting itself is concealed in, in tracks wherever possible. Uh, alongside curtains and blinds and all of the other conventional items we've tried to conceal at all opportunities. You need to design houses so that they can be flexible to the prevailing weather and particularly in this site here where we're on the edge of a cliff and there's this really strong breeze that comes thundering up the mountain. The structure itself is designed to float, particularly the roof is popped up to allow ventilation to happen in all sorts of different ways according to the prevailing winds and breezes. The most challenging part of the design is definitely the cantilever of the house. It in itself is a feat of engineering and I'm just utterly amazed at the achievement that has been created here and everyone was committed to this project and in this instance the client was unrelenting in their approach, determined to see this through and you know we're just absolutely amazed that it all came together and it's just a beautiful piece of architecture we were thankful to be involved with.